Uh, talk about the race. Um, the plan was to try and run like the easy the first two laps to see if anyone would take it and then um, stay in a comfortable spot on the outside for me and then kind of try and pick it up in the middle and be ready for that last mile wind down. Um, I was starting to get a little nervous leading in the middle. I was kind of pulling out to see if anyone would come up on the inside and then going back. But I just tried to make sure I felt like I had enough left for a hard kick because I knew Shannon is a great closer and I'm going to have to pull it all out the last 200. When Shannon made the pass and you knew you had to respond, did you, how were you able to get to that next gear? Were you confident in yourself that you were able to respond that well? Yeah, I tried to change, like, um, measure my kick a little better in these scenarios. I used to just go all out at the bell, and I tried to go, like, 80% at the bell, because I knew the move would come at 200. This happened to me before, where I wasted all in the first 200. So, um, Shannon went around me, and I thought, just try and go with her, and, um, we try and take the inside the last hundred if it's there and we kind of were weaving all around and I just was like be ready for a lean you know I I know it was going to be close and I just went till my legs went numb basically. Coming off that, that 10k record that you ran on, on the roads and uh, now you're here how, how do you feel like your season is progressing and what's your plans uh, for the summer race? I feel like it's going well. Um, I kind of didn't know how it would go going from 5k, 10k, 5k but um, I felt like I had enough speed under my legs between the mini and now just to practice. Um, after this I have a mile at the Morton Mile in Dublin and then Monaco 5K the next week. So hopefully I can ratchet my time down a little more. <laughs> How much more work did you go around on the outside? It took a lot of work. Uh, I was trying to get that inside line and Shannon kind of saw me and moved in and then saw me and moved out. So I was, I wasted a little more but I said this is I gotta get around her somehow, so I just kinda threw myself through the wide at the end. Do you feel like that could potentially be like a little DQ worthy because it's kind of like impeding you a little bit? She didn't touch me, so no. I mean, I probably would have done that too, to be honest. So, <laughs> it's fair. At, at the end, like, were you pretty confident at the end you were gonna get her? Because you, I mean, you kind of leaned there at the line. But... Uh, not at all. I mean, I know Shannon's 1500 meter runner, but I'm a stronger runner, so I thought I might have the edge there, but um, something nervous the last hundred. I was like, how am I, how am I gonna get this past Shannon 100 meters ago? She's so much better. Yeah, I meant even like when you went way wide and got around you, you're like, okay, now I have it, or it, uh, you still was into to the line where you're not sure? Yeah, into the line. I just, I was ready to lean, and I thought, there's been a moment, there's been one or two other races in my career where I came down to, I should have leaned, and I was afraid I was going to fall, and I thought, just fall if you have to, just get over the line. So. Are you equally comfortable on the track and the road? You seem to run well both places. Um, I used to be more comfortable on the track. I definitely feel a lot more comfortable on the road. It's just kind of growing on me. So I've always loved road races, but now I feel a little more... Like I can go to the last question here. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Bob.